What's good, y'all? It's your boy, it's Elliot. It's your friendly neighborhood health coach here with Anytime Fitness in North Coming and in Anytime Fitness in Dawsonville. Yesterday was just a fantastic day. I started out at the gym at 6 a.m., trained my man David, then trained Steven, went home, did some computer work, delegated some stuff to the team. We were knocking stuff out throughout the day. Then I went back to the gym, trained my group training, did some more work there, trained a few more people, you know, just did the thing. So let's just throw a highlight video of just everybody who kicked butt yesterday at the coming gym at Anytime Fitness in Dawsonville. And when we get back, we'll throw down on the Daily Dose of Fitness. I never made it, but I know what it takes. I'm motivated by a mix of emotion. Got my statement, and I'm reading it slow so I can understand it fully. So we're back. Today's workout is going to be all about or built around benching and snatching. I love this day, um, man, because I suck at benching and I need to get better at snatching. Some people, you know, when they go into the gym, they go in and do the things that they like to do, right? Some guy, most guys like to go in and bench, right? So everyone, it's like on Mondays is International Chest Day for most like 24 hour gyms, right? Um, I don't. Me personally, right, speaking to you guys, I like, I like personally, whenever I work out, I like put my music in and I like getting myself in deep waters, right? I like feeling uncomfortable. I like working on things that I'm not very good at and then getting good at them. For example, box jumps. I was gra I'm gravitating, like vertically challenged, I mean, and I used to be gravitationally challenged. So I was a fat kid who was kind of short. So when it came to like vertical jumping, I had like a height, like a visa card, like a dumbbell. I would trip over it, like it was terrible, right? But now I I have a pretty damn good box jump, you know? And I can jump pretty, not only uh, high, but efficiently as well. And that's just something that I spent a lot of time working on. Uh, same thing with mobility. I used to be as stiff as a two by four. Now I'm, you know, like semi-flexible plywood. Still could snap, still working on it. But that's the fun of it. So for like snatching and any of the Olympic movements, you have people who work their entire lives to go to the Olympics to execute a perfect three reps or, you know, one rep and then they have three rounds. But they, they go there to execute that specifically. I've been doing Olympic lifting for like three years, max. So I still am garbage at it in terms of like where I want to be. Can I effectively teach you how to clean and jerk and how to snatch? Absolutely. It's for people who can teach it better than I can. Absolutely. And you know what? Shout it out now. Dragonaut Training Systems, Max Iota and Chad Wesley Smith. I learned from all of those guys. I watched all of their video YouTube videos and I still do. I still subscribe. Uh, and I'll link to their channels down below. You guys should definitely check them out because I'm here with the Daily Dose of Fitness. If you're coming in, getting your fitness in with me, but that doesn't mean you can't work on your technique and maybe hear something from a different coach, from a different perspective and learn something that I can't teach you or that I did not perceive. You know, you didn't pick up for me. I'm laying some things down and you're picking them up, but there's other people laying good stuff down that we should all go and try to pick stuff up. We should always be learning, always be trying to do some new things in this life but that was a long rant just to get to this right so we're going to start out part a is going to be a 10 minute amrap it's going to be 10 reps of four different movements it's going to be 10 dumbbell bench press i might substitute and do a barbell bench press not quite feeling it yet but if you decide to substitute with dumbbells definitely use a barbell uh i think that would really be your only two options then you have a bent over row I'm probably gonna stick to doing dumbbells with this. I don't see myself doing a barbell bent over row, especially if I'm gonna do a bench. So we're gonna go ahead and say bench press, 10 bench press, 10 dumbbell bent over row. You got 10 lunges. Use those same dumbbells that you're rowing with. Hold on to those suckers. Yes, your forearms are gonna hurt and you got 10 lunges, 20 total steps, followed by 10 dead bugs. Use a medicine ball. And when you're extending that opposite hand and that opposite leg, I want you to try squeezing that medicine ball with the adjacent hand and knee. Once you've done that 10 minute AMRAP, I want you to rest for about two to four minutes, 
do some active stretching. Stretch out those forearms, they're gonna be tight. Stretch out your really shoulders because there's gonna be a lot of just load on your shoulders. So make sure you kind of warm those suckers up, especially for what we start part B with, which is another 10 minute AMRAP. It's gonna be five snatches, followed by 10 wall balls, 15 Russian twists, 30 total. So right, left equals one rep, followed by 20 kettlebell swings, and then 25 body squats. If you want to step those body squats up just a little bit, turn, turn, excuse me, turn them in to like a sissy squat where you put a plate, maybe some small dumbbells underneath your heels to get them elevated so you can get more range of motions and get more blood flow in your quads. today's dose of fitness i hope you guys have a fantastic best rest of your day speaking is easy and i'll see you guys tomorrow for your daily dose of fitness